today. Amen. Amen. Okay, before we start our worship, let's prepare our heart and mind to the Lord. Let's pray together. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for your everything, for your blessing that you have given in our life so that we can uh, stay together to worship you, to dance yes, with you, Jesus. to bring the best offering to, into your holy home, Lord. We bring our heart, we bring our mind to yes. focus on you, Jesus. Yes. This is our prayer, this is our gift. Thanks to you. We surrender all of our lives yes. into your holy hand. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Say together with me. Amen. Ready to praise God. Amen. Amen. Ready, you got a big clap hands.
give you my prayer. I live for you alone. Every day that I spend, every moment I'm blessed. Lord, have your ways in me. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. Every moment I'm grateful, Lord, have Your ways in me. Lord, I give You my heart. I give You my soul. I.
How are you today? I hope you are great. Amen. I'm Evangelist Ayu Lesari Malau. I'm gonna share the word of God with you. The topic is Come boldly into Jesus' presence. On that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and repair its damage. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. Amos 9 verse 11 The prophetic passage above speaks of our time. The interesting feature about the tabernacle of David in contrast to the tabernacle of Moses is that it had no fail separating man and God. David could go directly to worship the Lord before the Ark of the Covenant. When our Lord Jesus died on the cross and cried out, It is finished. John 19 verse 30 The Bible tells us that the precious moment, the veil of the temple was torn into from top to bottom. Matthew 27 verse 51 Opening the way into the Holy of Holies 
Through Christ, there is no longer any separation between God and man. Whosoever believes in Jesus shall never perish. Hallelujah. David's tabernacle. David and the priest could praise God openly before the Ark of the Covenant. Isn't it wonderful to know that when you are in Christ, all your sins are forgiven and that you can come boldly to his throne of grace to worship him? God has raised up the tabernacle of David with a new generation of worshippers who are not afraid of God and not afraid to draw near and receive his promise of divine protection. None of us can do enough to merit God's protection, but praise be to God, we are all qualified by the blood of Jesus Christ. On the night of the first Passover, when the children of Israel applied the blood of an innocent lamb on their doorposts, God said to them, Now the blood shall be a sin for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Exodus 12 verse 13 Jesus became that innocent lamb that was sacrificed for us when he shed his blood and died on the cross. Today, as believers in Christ, his blood protects us. I am believing with you that all evil, all destruction, and all danger shall pass over you and not come near you and your family. Amen. Let us come boldly to worship our Lord in the tabernacle of David, where there is no fail. Come boldly under his wings and worship the Lord daily with the prayer of protection. His precious blood has been shed at the mercy seat for our total redemption, protection, and salvation. Psalm 91 was written for worship. Come boldly into our Lord's presence daily and pray the prayer of protection. There is no fail, no failure, and no shame that separates you from God today because of our Lord's finished work at Calvary. Come before your Heavenly Father, worship Him, and receive His protection for you and your entire household. Amen. I think that's all for today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessings you have given us. So today we have finished listening to your words. Let your word be a light and a lamp for our lives and enable us so that we can do your commands in our lives. At this time, we pray for our pastor that you will give him health and bless his family as well. We pray for our nation and state and our government. We put everything into your holy hands so that we may remain in your protection. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. This is our prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. See you again. From Medan, I'd like to say God bless you abundantly. Bye.